Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix the unresponsive key issue on your Ducky 1.3 keyboard. Uh, this is usually just a pretty simple fix, updating the firmware. Um, but it is definitely a pretty not fun issue, as you can imagine. Uh, you'll be playing a game and all of a sudden your W key doesn't work or like uh, something like that. And, you know, that can make it really difficult to get out of some certain situations in games. Uh, it can definitely be a huge disadvantage. So I'm going to show you how to fix that issue. All right, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to this website right here. Um, I will have this linked in the description down below. And you're just going to want to hit keyboards and select what uh, keyboard percent you have, like what layout. So mine's a 65% and I have RGB lighting and then I am using the Ducky 1.3 series and my model is the 1.3 SF Daybreak so I'm gonna scroll down here I'm gonna hit this guy right here wait for it to load and what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down here to where it says 1.11 this is the newest firmware for my keyboard so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the download button as you can see, I've done this a few times already testing this out, but we're going to go ahead and open this up. Uh, Windows might not want to run it. Uh, you're just going to hit run anyway. And it's going to look something like this. And as you can see, the start button is grayed out and this is pretty common. So quick way to fix this is to go ahead and open device manager. Um, and what you can do is you go down to Universal Serial Bus Controllers. Uh, you're just gonna expand it here. You're gonna be looking at the composite devices. Uh, so you might have to go one by one on this, but I already know which one it is. I'm just gonna show you how to find out. So you're gonna right click this, hit Properties, hit Details, and you're gonna change this to Device Instance Path. And so right here, this says, DK-V1.11. So that means Ducky keyboard. And this shows the firmware version. So I'm already on the newest one because I've already done this. Uh, but once you find out which device has that uh, DK-V and then whatever firmware you're on, uh, you're just going to right click it and hit uninstall device. Wait for it to uninstall. And your keyboard will have its lights go off. And you're just going to want to unplug the keyboard and plug it back in. So I'm gonna plug it back in, and now this button here should light up, so you can go ahead and hit start, and you can see firmware updating. Uh, it's gonna go ahead and go through that process, and your keyboard should light back up, and then you can go ahead and hit okay, and your firmware is good to go. So now you can go back to playing games, and it should fix that issue. Um, if it doesn't, fix the issue um best option would be to contact ducky's support page or also wait until they release a new firmware update but this should fix the majority of uh your issues out there so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a thumbs up i really appreciate it and consider subscribing to the channel if this helped you out and i will be sure to make some future uploads um, but other than that thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video